All right, so these guys are in for a contest. We got peach garlic with John. Mick has got garlic salmon egg. Troy cheated and already cast. He's got garlic wildfire. Oh, We're going to see who, who hooks up first. There's garlic Mick. Salmon egg is still the magic. Garlic salmon egg. <laughs> Almost instant. Garlic salmon egg. Back at work, baby. This fire base is absolutely impressive. Beautiful. Beautiful There's one. Double. Yep. There he is. Oh, <laughs> what the? Oh, you got somebody else's line. In the net. In the net. We got a triple. All right, guys. We just got a triple. That was something I've only done a handful of times in my life. We're going to let these fish go so you can come down here and you can do the same thing. Two. He's off. Number two. There he goes, and then number three, there he goes, we're going to keep getting them. Everybody, Chris Schaefer of Potsky Outdoors. We're back in the state of California. The reason why we come here all the time is it's one of the meccas of trout fishing in the United States. You know, there are several states that have incredible stocking programs. California, Colorado, New Mexico. Some even put Pennsylvania in that one. And other, other states in the West. However, California is a huge state. It's got tons of trout in it. Now, in spring and summertime, California Department of Fish and Wildlife comes to these places like this and they stock tons of trout every single week during the season. We're going to show you how to come to a stream that you've never been before and be successful using Hotski Fire Bay. Now, come with us, enjoy this. We're going to try to get you some drone footage, some underwater release footage. We're going to try to even get a couple of fish to eat fire bait on the bottom. Now, this place behind me is one of the most popular places to fish in all of the state of California. This is the McLeod River. Don't tell anybody where we're going. Sometimes people don't like that. But you know what? It's stocked every single week. We're going to show you how to catch some of those stalkers and be successful. We'll have a great time whether you fish every day of your life or this is the first time you're fishing. All right. Back to plunge. Yeah. I see some action. Get him. Oh. Got him. Woo! First yeah. cast back. First cast. Woo -hoo -hoo. Fire threaded, baby. That's a nice one. Yeah. Baby. First one. First cast. Bam. Woo! Okay, here we are this afternoon, and my baity choice is garlic salmonade fire bait. And I'm about ready to make my second cast and catch my second fish. All right, hey, hey. Oh, we're right in the middle of the We got big fish alley right here. Yeah, baby. Woo 
Jesus. He's swimming a halfway to Sacramento with that bobber. Here we go. Got him. Woo! Did that the side? Yes. That was deep garlic. Woo! In, in and out. I'm going to show you this real simple rig we're using here today and it just consists of a small hook and we're using a couple of small sinkers these are split shot sinkers and we stagger these then we have a small swivel another small weight and we're using a float today and the reason why we're using a float today is because we want to see the bite. We don't want these fish eating it down to their gut. We're, we want to catch and release these fish. Now, if you're fishing for food, for the campfire, I suggest you use a treble hook in a size 16, 18 size hook. And you have to remember, when you're using your weights, you don't want a monstrous weight out there. You just want a few small weights to help keep it all underneath your float. Underneath the float is key. And the swivel is key also because if you're using a six pound test and the water is really clear, you may want to draw up down to a four pound liter or a two pound liter. I got a hot one. Get free, that's what we're talking about. Get free, get free, get free. Look at the one following his brother. Yeah, thank you, John. Beautiful trout, beautiful. So today, my successful bait was rainbow fire bait. And the reason why I'm using the rainbow fire bait is we have a few different colors in here. We have green, orange, and chartreuse. Now I'm gonna show you the bait sizes we were using today. Because you have to remember, when you're fishing these smaller streams, you don't need a big gob of bait. You just need a little bit to cover the hook. This stuff is so potent, these fish just, they'll swim across the river for it. So you just take the hook, make it into a little worm, stick it in there, smash it down around the hook, cover the hook, and you're fishing. That's all you need. Okay, here we are. This has been the bait of my choice today. The garlic, salmon, egg, fire bait. Now, I'm going to take this lid off and show you. I have gone through almost a full jar of this bait today. I cannot keep these fish off of this. So make sure that when you come out to the stream, don't just bring one jar because you may be out of bait. And here we are again. Garlic, salmon, egg. The number one bait for Mick today. And we're going to try to get to the two pounder out here. There's a lot of fish, a lot of action. He's going to smash it. He chief fought for it last time. Come on. There is it. I think he's got it. He's got it. Oh, is that the big one? That's a good one. That's a good one. I think yeah. that's the big one. Yeah, baby. And that garlic salmon egg is hot. Oi. And that was. He gone. All right, guys, today I'm using peach garlic fire bait. As you can see, I don't have too much on my hook, just barely enough to cover the hook. Now, I'm doing that because this water is so clear, and I want to be able to have just that little low profile bait because those trout love it. We're going to see if we can get one here. All right, he's got a bobber on there because we're trying to release all these fish with a bobber. Oh my god, it already went the second it hit the water. 
Got him. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Peach garlic. Today's episode of Potski Outdoors comes to you from California Trout Country, where we're out here fishing Potski Firebait today. Now everybody knows Potski Firebait has an amazing scent to it. It's got vibrant colors, and most importantly, it floats. And you're gonna see that today it was irresistible for these stocked California trout. Now, these are techniques you can use anywhere in the state of California. The guys use four different kinds of fire bait today. They use garlic salmon, peach garlic, garlic wildfire, and rainbow. Those are four type of colors you can find just about anywhere. Uh, everybody knows trout love garlic. Now, you're gonna see several things today. What was most amazing to us is these fish wanted the fire bait so bad that even when I bent over, laid on a rock, and stuck the GoPro in this crystal clear water right in front of their face, they still chased that fire bait down and slammed it. Now, we also had a drone right over top of them, and it was propellering right on top of the water and causing basically the water to shake and the water to create waves, and they still ate the fire bait. Now, we saw several other anglers out here today with us that didn't have that kind of success. So that shows you this bait is a phenomenal bait to use. Now, a couple things to remember when you're fishing Potski fire bait in clear water like this, never use anything heavier than four pound test. Please, you'll catch more fish. All right, those sinkers, they shouldn't look like gumballs, they should look like BBs. Smaller is better. Another thing, remember, you don't need a massive glob of bait. You need a small little piece like these guys are using. Do that, bring fire bait with you down to the stream, and you'll catch dozens of trout just like these guys did. Now remember, we don't kept, keep fish simply because we're not gonna eat them. So you'll see, we released all these fish for you guys to come catch them. Oh, 